Working for you. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Grant, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Grant, I let this is poor tourism. Operate the way it's supposed to be done. I let this is supposed to bring in people back into sink it. I saw it back in the seventies where we where we were boxing. Used to bring people a hundreds of people into sink it. My second my second thing, I understand that the, the farmers is crying out for the pork meat was coming in to sink it. The pork meat that's coming in to sink it is much cheaper and the pork meat here <coughs> to sink it. And it's giving the farmers them legs. And I like to see boxing, sports, tourism. Do what he used to do before back in the seventies, thank you. Well, um, uh, caller, thank you very much for uh, that interjection. In terms of the farmers and the pork meat, I, I must say I wasn't aware that the, the pork was cheaper. I know that we import about 800,000 pounds of pork um, on an annual basis because there's a shortfall in terms of that is, that is produced in St. Kitts and Nevis. I must say, however, that I know a couple of farmers who are um, producing some good pork in, in, in St. Kitts and I would hope that they can capture the gap of the 800,000 pounds because pork right now is like a $10 a pound so we're having an outflow annually of about $8 million and I would hope that the farmers in St. Kitts and Davis will get on board in terms of pork production. I know St. Kitts people like a lot of pork, I'm not a pork eater so I am not the um, one who um, favors that i leave that for people like um, Les Roy to, to deal with. <laughs> um, in terms of sports tourism, yes, we are, we are trying to increase that market. Um, I was just in London, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, we signed a contract with the Barmy Army um, Cricket Club, but they have a golf um, <coughs> portion, and they have about 4,000 members. So they are going to bring the first tour here next year and they have advised me that they are going to bring about 120 persons on that tour. So if the Barmy Army comes next year with 120 persons, that would be a good start for the contract that we just signed in London uh, two weeks ago. Then about two months ago, I signed a contract in with the um, Golf Association of Canada who are going to also start a program uh, next year. And so I believe between the two, we would then maybe have about 300 um, persons along with their families here for golf um, next year. And so we are beginning now to create that niche market uh, through golf. And golf, as you know, in Canada, there are about 6 million golfers. Those are the stats. They spend about 4.6 million US dollars annually overseas on golf. And so we would want to be able to be in a position to capture some of that golf market. I must however tell you that in order for us to be uh, in the forefront of that market, we have to get our two other golf courses up and going because you're not recognized as a golf market until you have three, preferably four golf courses. Right now we have the Royal Sinkers Golf Club, we have four seasons, so that's two. We need to come on stream the Irie, Irie Fields golf, golf Course, which is in Kittishan Hill, and we need on stream the one at the Tom Fazio Course at the Crystal Harbour. Mm -hmm. Once we get those other two courses coming on stream, we would be ahead of the game in the Caribbean in terms of Sinkers being a golf destination.